In uh, 2005, a young man from Conway, a graduate, Kevin Clark, is an independent filmmaker and he came to UCA because he had this idea of doing a, a documentary on the history of the Arkansas Gazette. And uh, he had to partner with a nonprofit in order to get grant funding. And so he came to UCA. And Dr. Anderson uh, was the chair at the time. And you know, our department now has digital filmmaking. So, um, so Kevin came and Dr. Anderson thought it was a good idea. He had actually thrown the paper as a boy, Dr. Anderson had. And so um, he said, yeah, that sounds like a good idea and let's get Donna involved because I had worked there. I was a sports writer at the Arkansas Gazette for seven years and I was there the day the doors closed. I was out of work along with a lot of other people. And so it was a very personal project for me. So anyway, um, we got going, we, got, we were very generously uh, funded by granting agencies. The Winthrop Rockefeller Foundation gave us $52,000 and the Arkansas Humanities Council $30,000, the Dara Foundation $30,000, several others UCA Foundation were very generous and uh, part of the Rockefeller Foundation's grant was that they wanted a companion piece on the role of the, of the Gazette in the Central High Crisis and while the original film, The Old Grey Lady, it's 90 minutes and it tells the history of the paper from 1819 to 1991. Um, this this uh, companion film is 30 minutes aimed at school children and I've been on the road taking Mr. Faubus out around to, uh, to schools to talk to teachers all over the state and I'm hoping to, to do more of that. First of all, I wasn't sure that people would get it the first film who hadn't lived it. We were so close to it and, and so I was really pleased that even people from out of state, uh, younger people seemed to get it. And so now with Mr. Faubus, um, you know, I wasn't alive in 1957, but it's it's gotten very, um, it's really gotten a lot of sort of buzz at the, at the Hot Springs Documentary Film Festival. One man from uh, Detroit was at one of the screenings and he spoke up and said, this film should be shown nationwide. And so I think it sort of rings a, you know, it, it strikes a chord with people who can, who can see how much progress we've made as far as race relations, but also how far we still have to go. But still, it's better than it was in 1957. I've been amazed uh, at, at the reception that it's gotten. Um, uh, you know, I knew about Little Rock Central, but I don't remember studying Little Rock Central. Um, and unfortunately, Arkansas history is, is not is not being stressed like I would like it to be stressed uh, in our schools. But uh, the teachers are really getting into it. Um, I, I went to Salem Springs and showed it to all the seventh grade classes there. The seventh graders got into it. They had done a lot of work in advance, so they knew who Daisy Bates was. They knew who Elizabeth Eckford was. But I'm really pleased that, um, that um, people are willing to learn from the past. And this is a, an important lesson that, uh, and I think this part of the story had not been told. You know, a lot of people have studied Little Rock Central, but the Arkansas Gazette's role has not really been um, studied very much. And, and the Gazette went on to win two Pulitzer Prizes in 1958 for its coverage. No newspaper had ever won two Pulitzers uh, in the same year for the coverage of the same event. So uh, it's something to be proud of. The history of the Arkansas Gazette is really the history of Arkansas because the Gazette existed 17 years before Arkansas was a state. It saddens me to think that people today, and I think I heard the statistic one out of three people in Arkansas now were not living when the Arkansas Gazette was alive. And, and you know, people move from out of state and they don't understand that what we have today is not the Arkansas Gazette. It's called the Arkansas Democrat Gazette, but it is not the old Gazette. The Arkansas Gazette died in 1991. And if, if we don't keep it alive through history, you know, it's gone forever. This is the only way it can, it can remain alive. And I'm really passionate about that.